Uh, Sentinel landscape, it's a sort of a large area um, where in fact we are trying to monitor on the long term uh, the trends, the change in ecological and socio-economic condition so that we can understand better if we are proposing an intervention, if what is happening is linked to the intervention we propose or it's linked to long-term trend and also allow us to compare across different types of landscape uh, along this uh, forest and transition curve uh, gradient that, that we use as a framework in the FTA. We have now uh, six or seven uh, sentinel landscape. <coughs> Each of the sentinel landscape has its own characteristics. So, so the one in Nicaragua, Honduras, has a characteristic which is totally different from the one which is in the, in the Sahel, in Burkina Faso or Ghana. So in a sense, some of the questions you will ask for the Burkina Faso Sahel are not the same as the one you will ask for Nicaragua, Honduras. But overall, they have all been uh, we, have get, we got some baseline data on all the Sentinel landscape using the set methodology for all the Sentinel landscape. So that, that will give us uh, a huge data set, uh, similar data that can be compared uh, to, to see if some uh, of the fundamental questions uh, have the same answer based on the, the parameter of the characteristics. So for example, f something very important for, for the, the CGIAR is uh, uh, food security and nutrition. So one of the questions that the Sentinel Landscape Network can, can help answer is the, okay, is there a link between forest cover and the quality of forest cover or tree cover and nutrition? Then if you get a similar answer uh, in very different conditions like Borneo, Sumatra, uh, Central Africa, uh, Sahel, uh, uh, and uh, the Amazon and, and Mesoamerica, then there may be something robust behind the data and then you can get some more global conclusion. When we developed the, the, the FTA proposal where we, we have this idea of one of the components was really to work at the landscape scale and uh, we recognized that we were missing this long-term data uh, at the landscape scale so we, we had the idea of developing this network of sentinel landscape which is very much based on the history of long-term uh, experiment and uh, ep epidemiology. People who have this sentinel site where they follow every year if the uh, avian flu is emerging or not, so that we have something that gives us the trends, uh, the background trends in the large landscape so that we can measure intervention. So it came from the FTA partners. Uh, we developed that as an uh, annex, in fact, in the original proposal, and this is something that got a lot of traction, was really uh, appreciated by, by a lot of the people who reviewed the proposal. And then now we have uh, a lot of partners uh, coming in, interested in this concept. And of course, we are not starting from scratch. I mean, we are using uh, some things that were developed by the colleagues in the University of Michigan. We are using some existing data set. We are using the African Soil Information System. Uh, and for that, we have developed a specific portal. Well, not yet, because we have not yet finished completely uh, collecting the data. It's quite a complicated uh, thing to do, and we have not yet analyzed the data for the whole set of Sentinel landscape. Well, what you can see is a glimpse of what could be uh, the type of result, like the fact that uh, based on some data in, in, the, um, in some large uh, survey that, that were done similar to the Sentinel landscape. You can see that families that have uh, tree, trees in their farm have uh, say, twice less risk of being hungry during the year than families that have no trees. So that's the type of response that we are looking at for the, the data on the Sentinel landscape. But as it is now, we are still in the stage of collecting the final data, uh, analyzing the data, compiling the data. Yeah, typically in terms of uh, soil, soil quality, because uh, they, they are, the, the Sentinel landscape have, have used the same method that the uh, AFSIS, the African Soil, system, inform, soil Information System, uh, we have um, remote sensing that, that we can produce soil organic carbon 
everywhere in the Sentinel landscape and that gives you an idea of the fertility, so that gives you an idea of the potential for people to change their, their type of crop to, or for the, the vegetation to recover. Or same for um, uh, soil humidity, so that's this type of ecological condition. Uh, we are also doing some what you call uh, institutional mapping in the Sentinel landscape. To, because the, the partners is a very important issue in, 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 the, in the landscape. I mean, to try, try to understand who, who is doing what with what and uh, uh, if we want to manage this type of uh, large unit which goes beyond the normal administrative boundaries. <laughs>